Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geekilem in Development and welcome to part 3 of our web application um, tutorial series. So in the part 2 we added the, our activity indicator. This gave you a bit of visual information to let the user or yourself know that there is something happening or something you know, kind of um, loading or not loading on the web page. And uh, in part three now, we're going to add a search bar at the top in a little toolbar. So if I just bring this down before we add any of the code, I'll get it all set up. So we need to search for our search bar, which is, here we go there. Place that into the top. Now I'll bring the web view back up. There we go. Now if we click on our search bar, and um, we need to add a cancel button. So this will give us the option to cancel anything we search or completely delete everything within the search bar. So once we've done that we need to uh, right click or control click and bring it down to our view controller and select delegate as we need to link it up. As we're not really creating any outlets we are simply doing this on void statements alone. So okay then once we've done that we can jump into our view controller.m and I'll start at the bottom now. So make some space so you can clearly see what we're typing. We do dash bracket void space here, and we're going to do search um, bar search button clicked, and we do the colon here, and we do bracket UI search bar space asterisk. And after the bracket there, we do search bar space bracket and press enter. And we're going to do a one after that. So we do dash bracket void again. And almost the same, but this time it's going to be our cancel button. So we do search bar cancel button clicked. Now these aren't all the um, preset and next code, we have to do these ourselves. Um, and again, we just repeat it just like the one before. The bracket UI search bar space asterisk. And then we do search bar. And again, finish that up with a bracket and a semicolon. So now if we jump back into our first one, and we do bracket search bar, because we've already created the outlet for our delegate here, and we need to resign first responder. So already, once we um, click search, it's going to resign the keyboard in, in well in a way. So and it will research what um, we entered in the search bar. And for it to know what we entered in the search bar, we simply do web view load request. Let me do bracket nsurl uh, load request nsurl request. Sorry, and then we space request with URL, and then we do bracket nsurl space url with string and in the highlighter section here we do bracket ns string uh, string with format and in this highlighter section we do at symbol quotation mark quotation mark and then we uh, in between the two quotation marks do htt P and then the colon two forward slashes and now we need to do the percentage sign and at symbol. I'll come back to that in just a moment. Then after that we do a comma. Then we do search bar dot text and then we finish it off with all the brackets there and enter with a semicolon. Now what this means here, this little symbol, the at symbol and um, percentage sign and the at symbol is means it's going to take a bit of text from the um, one of the outlets in our view so now we as we do uh, percent, um, comma search bar dot text it means whatever's in the search bar will replace the percentage sign and at symbol meaning if we typed www.apple.com it will replace that and it will link up to the http and the forward slashes to display our um, web web address or web page. And uh, once you've done that, we do bracket web view space add sub view, and we do activity indicator just like we've done in our view did load. 
Okay, so that's really all we need to do the search bit there. Now, to uh, add the function there for our cancel button, so what it really does is going to, once we cancel it, it will again take the keyboard away and it will also take out any text that's in our search bar. So we do search bar dot text space equals space nil. And that is semicolon. And then we do bracket search bar resign first responder and that array semicolon. Now if we go to straight to jump and build and run. So you can see our search bars in the top there. Unfortunately the status bar does overlay it but we do have a tutorial on how to remove the status bar. So just like normal our web page loads up and our activity indicator displays that there's activity going on or their page, some parts of the page is still loading. But if we click on our search bar now it brings up the keyboard and if we type www apple.com we can either hit enter or press search and you can see it takes us straight to our Apple website and again the activity indicator has now stopped as it's fully loaded the page and before with the cancel button if we just simply press cancel gets rid of any text in the search bar and removes the um, keyboard altogether so okay then so that's part three of our web uh, application series. I hope you enjoyed it so far and I do really hope that it's helping you out with any apps or projects you have at the moment. So one more part left to go which is part four where we now add our own custom activity indicator. So I hope you're looking forward to that and uh, if you haven't make sure you subscribe, make sure you like and favor and follow and all sorts on Facebook and Twitter. Make sure you check out all our apps on the App Store just by simply searching Geeky Lemon. And uh, most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all in part four of our web view application series. Come on, Bob. Come on. Come on, Bob. Oh, I got him my pinky. I got him my... No, it's not my pinky. I got him my finger.